Hi everyone. In this video, I just want to explain what shifts the short run aggregate supply curve. Just like the aggregate demand curve is a story about total spending or aggregate expenditures, the short run aggregate supply curve is a story about cost of production. So anything holding the price level or the average price level constant, so in this example, uh, P, the average price of final goods and services, or the GDP deflator, or chain type price index, is going to be held constant, but the cost of production are going to change. Now remember, firms are greedy profit maximizers, and that's going to lead them to change the amount of output that they're willing and able to produce, and that's going to cause the short-run aggregate supply curve to shift. So, for example, there are many things that could affect the cost of production. For us, there are two that we talk a lot about in this class, changes in nominal wages and changes in the uh, energy costs, such as the price of oil. So those will be the two that we talk about here. Um, but there's other things that will do it. They're just the two you talk most about in a, a macro context. So, for example, let's just say there's an increase in nominal wages, which I'll abbreviate as W. Well, that's going to increase costs of production. Remember, wages are one of the largest components of the cost of production for firms. So that should say cost of production, not cost of product. I just ran out of um, space that's going to end up, assuming the price level is held constant, so the average price of final goods and services is held constant, that's going to decrease profits per unit of output per unit. And so that'll end up decreasing the amount that firms want to go ahead and produce. All right. So just like when we derive the uh, short run aggregate supply curve, increases in uh, profits per unit of output led firms to want to produce more output. Um, decreases in profits per unit of output are going to lead them to want to produce less. Except this time, it's not changes in the price level that are causing profits per unit of output to change, it's increases in nominal wages. So here, increase the nominal wage leads to higher cost of production with the price level held constant that's going to decrease profits per unit of output, so firms are voluntarily going to want to produce less, decrease GDP. How much? I don't know. Let's just call it Y2, which means the new price GDP combination will be point B. That's obviously, <coughs> excuse me, not on the initial short run aggregate supply curve, so there must, must be some new one that looks like this short run aggregate supply curve 2. So, short run average supply curve shifts left. Okay. Likewise, decreases in nominal wages, and so let me just go ahead and do that. If there were a decrease in nominal wages, then that would go ahead and decrease costs of production, which would increase profits per unit of output, and since firms are greedy profit maximizers, they'd want to go ahead and produce more, which would shift the short run average supply curve to the right. So they'd want to produce more at this price level. How much more? I don't know. Say to Y3. That means the new price output combination would be point C. That's not on the initial short run average supply curve, so there must be a new one going through it. Um, that will label short run average supply curve 3. All right? And there's nothing particularly um, special about nominal wages other than they're a major cost of production. So it's one we're going to talk about. We're also going to come back to this when we talk about how the economy self-corrects or why the economy, we think there's a tendency for the economy to move to long-run equilibrium. All right? Now, it could have, rather than being a decrease in the uh, nominal wages, it could be a decrease in the price of oil, right? That would decrease cost of production, increase profits per unit of output, increase uh, lead firms to want to produce more, so the short run average supply curve would shift to the right in that case as well, all right? So likewise, and I'm not going to draw this, an increase in the price of oil would cause the short run average supply curve to shift to the left. So if you think about it, the short run average supply curve is really a story about the cost of production. Decreases in the cost of production shift the short run average supply curve to the right. Increases in cost of production shift the short run average supply curve to the left. And when we talk about why the economy tends to return to potential output, this story is going to be critical 
specifically we'll be talking about nominal wages and how the labor market adjusts to move the economy to the long-run equilibrium.